official. Barring any last minute changes, the motto remains of the late Nigerian televangelist and founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Temetope Balogun Joshua will be laid to rest at the church premises on the 9th of July in Lagos. Burial arrangements will take place between the 5th of July and the 9th of July 2021. This decision was reached after almost a week of deliberations between the chieftains of Arigidi Akoko and the immediate family. The decision, though, has not gone down well with the expectations of the monarch of Akoko land who wanted the cleric to be buried in his hometown. But my trouble is that his wife and the children should not allow them to bury him in Lagos. We are not going to take it lightly. It's from this town and we want him back here. That's the only trouble I have now. Yes, I now have access to the wife and uh, I know I'm, I'm going to talk to her. Yes, she's not from here. That's another trouble now. So, she can decide anything she wants, but we are not going to take it lightly. We are not going to take that from anybody. We have to bury him. However, the wife and children of the late cleric and the leadership of the church prevailed in the deliberations with the decision to bury the prophet in the premises of the church in Lagos, where he lived his life in the service of God. To witness it, so that this crisis will not take you away. That is why there's crisis. If the future of this country is nothing to write home about, you will not experience what you are experiencing. This country is going to be a giant nation. Amen. No, your email cannot change and your email cannot add. It is decree that this nation will be recorded as a powerful nation. Amen. Take it again. You may have your pen and write what I'm saying down. Because you are going to refer to it someday, some years. This country is a class of giants. Hundreds of thousands of followers, sympathizers and well wishers are expected to graze the funeral of the man who touched the lives of many. I shed tears because of the work he has done, his humanitarian works and the lives he has touched all over the world. It's unbelievable. If this man of God will please wake up, he has not finished his, his assignment. All of us, we are in a morning mood. Nobody is happy. It's an exemplary, a practical Jesus Christ in the physical human being, in my generation. It's more than 50 years I'm in Queen Synagogue Church. He just delivered me just last month in my leg. T.B. Joshua is a great man. He's a kind man, nobody like T.B. Joshua. Well, our purpose of 10 years is not for anything. We have no business. We have no any construction or any other business. It's because of the, the church in question. And man of God has a way of doing this. He makes sure that there is food go to our mouth. A source who was part of the meeting said, quote, The extended family members, his wife and children held a meeting on Friday and it was decided that he should be buried in Lagos as the burial program will be between July 5 and 9. It was on the insistence of the wife and children that the other family members agreed in the place of burial because they said they had revelations that he should be buried in Lagos. Since they said it was spiritual, the family agreed with them." Unquote. Meanwhile, some of the elders of Akoko land say, even though it has been agreed that the cleric be buried in Lagos, ongoing projects left behind by the prophet in Arigidi Akoko should not be abandoned. The founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations took his last breath in Lagos on Saturday evening, shortly after meeting with his partners. The cause of death was not immediately disclosed, but family sources say his body has been deposited and an autopsy will be performed shortly. It remains to be seen what will be the response of the monarch of Arigidi Akoko, Obaisa Olanipekun, who clamored for the remains of the late cleric to be buried in Akoko land. It, this is not only me, Batu. It's not only me. It's the whole Akoko. Whatever what we take, I will, I will follow it. If you need me to see the 
Lagos State Governor, I will see him. They should not bury him there. He has the lie. He can tell them no way. I'm very close to him. I discuss with him freely. What anybody cannot tell him, I will tell him. He's junior to me, and I'm his king.